this is Kate with the St. Louis Science Center here again with the Science Off Center team. Since it's the month of October, we decided here at Science Off Center that we should do a creepy experiment. So we're going to do one of our favorite experiments. We're going to make slime. This time we're going to make glow-in-the-dark slime. All you need is a plastic bag that seals at the top. I decided to use some clear glue. I think it makes it a little bit more realistically slimy. Or you can use white glue. A tablespoon of water, some glow-in-the-dark paint, easily found at a Hobby Lobby or any type of craft store, and then an oversaturated solution of borax mixed with water. To start off with, we're going to take our clear glue and pour about a tablespoon in. Now this all depends on how much slime you're wanting to make. I'm not wanting to make that much right now. We're going to add our tablespoon of water to that seal the bag and mix gently with your fingers. Now if you use white glue it starts to look like milk. This just looks like a thick water and make sure it's all mixed. Slightly watered down. Alright, now we're going to add about a dime's worth of glow-in-the-dark paint. I've been making a lot of this, so there's not much there. Alright, that's pretty good. Mix that in. And it works best to add the glue at this point so that the polymers chains don't link up before we add the borax. Make sure that it's all evenly mixed. I can see that I have lots of chunks in here. You don't want chunky slime. I want it to glow evenly. Now we'll add a tablespoon of our borax solution. I'm using a soup spoon to measure. Just helps me. I'm going to add just a little bit more. I can already see that it's starting to thicken. Sometimes your slime might be a little watery. All you have to do is pour off that extra liquid. You can see that I've got some great slime. Also, when you take it out and play with it, it'll dry off more and it'll become much more plasticky. So you can take this out and play with it. We'll be back in just a minute to see how it glows in the dark. So I've taken my slime to a dark location and I can see that it's glowing really, really well. I can break it apart, play with it, and it glows really, really well in the dark. Try this spooky experiment at your house and let us know how it goes at scienceoffcenter.org. We look forward to hearing from you.